You as counselors come across all types of students. They're engaged by different things. They have a variety of personalities, aspirations, and identities. At Florida Poly, it is often thought that we have one type of student. We do not. I've been practicing archery since freshman year in high school, and I was also the captain of my senior year team. And now I'm also training for the 2024 Olympics. So archery is a huge part of my life. And the biggest reason why I came to Florida Poly was because I knew it was a small university and relatively new. So the student voice was pretty large on campus. And I knew I had the opportunity to start an archery club on campus and be able to spread my passion around uh, to the other students here. About 30% of the students that we have now didn't know they wanted to study STEM disciplines when they were seniors in high school. When I was in high school, I wanted to go into the medical field, but when I joined the robotics club, that totally changed everything. And from then on, I started taking more math courses, doing more research in STEM, and here I am today at Florida Poly taking data science. The choices that students have in front of them are immense. Parents and students place enormous value in finding the right college, the right fit. Florida Poly offers what many students and families across the U.S. wish they could have access to in terms of a STEM-focused University of Excellence that is small and incredibly affordable. We see many students interested in engineering and computer science that apply to Florida Poly, but are also thinking of private universities uh, that are STEM-focused, but the cost and difference is immense. Small universities are strongly conducive to deep learning in the STEM disciplines. A study by 26 scholars from around the world published research that found that STEM students learn better in small classes in small institutions, particularly for female students. These findings were published in a peer-reviewed journal in bioscience. Hi, my name is Michelle Powell and I oversee admission at Florida Polytechnic University. I want to talk with you about what it takes to be a Florida Poly Phoenix and our application process. Students can submit their online application via the Common App and our university website. As part of the application, we ask your students to share with us information about the clubs and activities that they're involved in throughout high school. We want to know about their interests in robotics or Model UN and their leadership opportunities, whether it be as captain of a team or involved in varsity athletics. We want to know more about your student. In addition to the application, we do require a personal essay from applicants. And I encourage your students to take advantage of this opportunity to share with us about the struggles and their experiences related to the pandemic. In addition to the application and the personal essay, we do require students to send in their SAT or ACT scores and their high school transcript. To send in either of those, students can utilize what we call point click send. They can take pictures, scans, or screenshots of their documents and email or text them in to their admissions counselor. On a student's academic record, we're looking to see that they have a strong basis in mathematics and physics. We're looking for students who are calculus ready, meaning they've taken calculus or pre-calculus, or have a strong foundation of Algebra 2, Geometry, and Trigonometry. When students are concerned about their SAT and ACT scores, which we know they're going to be, we want to assure you that we are going to be considerate and empathetic to their situation. That is why this year for the fall 2021 admission cycle, we will be more heavily weighing a student's academic record and the rigor of their transcript, in addition to their involvement in clubs and STEM activities, more heavily than their SAT or ACT scores. The last part of the application that we strongly encourage students to submit are up to three letters of recommendation. Being a STEM institution, we highly encourage students to send in at least one letter of recommendation from a high school math or science teacher. We have several scholars programs and generous merit scholarships. Admissions deadlines have not changed and they can all be found on the website. We encourage students to submit their applications early given the challenging times we are in. Student life on campus is robust as we have a number of student clubs and organizations as well as several signature events on campus that include several hackathons, a competitive game expo judged by executives from the gaming industry, and Polycon, our version of Comic-Con, only without Ryan Reynolds, for now. We have several competitive esports teams, and next year we will begin offering esports scholarships to talented incoming freshmen. We have collaborated with the U.S. Navy on a competitive nuclear propulsion pipeline program with very generous aid, which is the first of its kind in the country. 
We have a new band on campus, a scatter band, modeled after Stanford University and Rice University, where their motto is, no matter what happens on the football field, the band always wins. Our campus residence halls are state-of-the-art, spacious, and have all the needed amenities, a washer and dryer in every suite, leave your coins at home. And we have a beautiful 90,000 square foot cutting edge STEM research facility being built on campus right now that will open within the next 20 months or so. The modern building will have an entrepreneurship center, a makerspace for students, innovation labs, and faculty offices. At Florida Poly, we believe there is absolute value in small classes for STEM learning. And you can see that in our student to faculty ratio of 15 to one. And small selective STEM universities have become increasingly in demand across the country. Majors in the humanities and the liberal arts have been declining, and computer science and engineering majors have dramatically increased over the past few years. At the same time, students and families are looking for value as well as excellence. Florida Poly students have the lowest student debt in the entire system. What also helps is the percent of students who earn Bright Futures scholarships. The number of Florida Poly freshmen who earned Bright Futures increased to 87% this year. The national demand for STEM majors, the drive to make an impact, and the affordability compared to other STEM universities has given great interest in Florida Poly. This fall, we saw an increase of 65% in freshman applications. We also saw an increase in the academic strength of students as well. This fall, the average SAT scores for enrolled students was 1330, and the average ACT score was 30. Their average high school GPA is up from 4.0 to 4.2. Florida Poly is now ranked in the top 40 of all public engineering colleges in the country that don't have a doctorate. Florida Poly is fully accredited by SACS and has also earned ABET accreditation. And with over 30 essential core STEM programs of study, we are well equipped to prepare tomorrow's leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs to answer some of humanity's biggest questions, as well as some pretty interesting ones as well.